for video streaming, gaming, social media, plus smart home devices and security systems. Standard high speed or cellular internet is just too slow, but broadband keeps your home connected. Call or visit Gearhart Broadband online. With in-person classes starting for Floyd County Schools on September 28th, the school district is putting student health and safety to the forefront by means of a temperature kiosk. Hi, Jeremy. Welcome to the Floyd County Board of Education. Before you're allowed into our building, we need to take your temperature uh, with our kiosk. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Just step up, align yourself with the silhouette inside the kiosk. 96.6 degrees. Your temperature's normal, temperature Jeremy. Temperature's normal, 97.0 degrees. Thank you very Thank much. You. Um, we knew that we were going to have to really step up our game in order to keep our kids safe and to be able to take temperatures and make sure that we could get kids in the school in a uh, a quick manner so that we didn't have all the kids standing in line and, and bottlenecked outside because our, our kids' safety is our number one priority. What we're going to do is we'll use them in the schools. Uh, the kids come in and the staff and any adult that enters our school will be required to use the kiosk or have their temperature taken with an infrared thermometer. The kids will stand in front of the uh, kiosk. Uh, they line themselves up with a, a silhouette inside the kiosk and the, the kiosk takes their temperature. At least one kiosk will be placed within each Floyd County school before the start of in-person classes on September 28th. An additional kiosk will be installed in larger schools with a higher population of students. If their temperature alerts us and it, it turns red on the kiosk, then we know that that child possibly has a temperature. So one of my health assistants or one of the nurses inside the school will take the child aside we will check the temperature again to verify that that is their temperature. And if the parents are still there, we're going to send the child home with their parents uh, with a recommendation that they take them to their primary physician or to in a hospital to the emergency room. Annette says that their goal is to keep students healthy and in school. And with all the safety precautions they have in place, the district is excited to have students back in class on September 28th. You know, we put everything that we can in place uh, to make sure that the children are safe, uh, that we can monitor them for temperatures and for illness. We've got two nurse practitioners and we've added telehealth to one of our schools and we're looking at uh, a prospect of adding some additional telehealth sites so that when the parents send their child to school or send them through the door, they know that we have done everything that we can to make sure that their child is safe during the day. Reporting from the Floyd County Board of Education, I'm Jeremy Justice with Mountaintop News.